our cap there. We don't have a pick, you know. Hi guys, it's just me. It's just Larry, the guy with the channel, the YouTube channel guy. One guy said yesterday in the comments that he said he said that uh, his wife came in and saw him watching saw, saw him watching this and said, "I wish you exercised as much as you watch this." It was pretty funny. Um, I'm just checking in. Last day in. Uh, New Finland, and uh, we're getting on a plane to go to start a new journey in the Midwest. She's coming on the road with us, mate. Remember that scene in Spinal Tap when uh, he talks about Janine coming to meet him in Des Moines? <laughs> That's where we're going, Des Moines. Yeah, what, she's coming on the road with us? Yeah, man, she's coming on the road with us. I love that part. I love that movie. I remember every line. It's great. Um, just checking in with you guys, you know. I finally got a guitar today, but no pick. And I got some cool chords to show you. I'll do the I'll do the tab thing. We, that's a new thing now that we're doing on the channel. The tab chord thing. We're gonna do that. That's gonna be cool. Positive response to that. Glad you guys like. I got a few questions. Um, I'm, I'm coming at you with some hot takes this morning. <laughs> I'm in a mood, I suppose. Coming at you for some hot takes. Well, you know, one guy said, uh, thanks for all the kind words on Tony's, you know, video where he apologized. He, you know, he, if there was, look, here's the part you guys gotta, gotta get, okay? If it was his own channel, he wouldn't care about apologizing. You know, it's not like he's a, he's a pansy. He's, he's, he's a tough guy. But he felt bad because it was my channel. That's the only reason he apologized, you know. Um, I know some of you think it was uh, a little weak of him to apologize, but he's just being courteous because it's not his channel. It's my channel. And he just wants to be respectful to you guys. I hope you get that, right? So that's cool. So you guys were all very sweet to him. There was a couple weirdos that said some weird things, but that's cool. We're good. Um, you know, it is a kind of a funny world we're living in you know you, you you'll notice that larry never brings any of this politics and stuff into the show i'm never gonna do that please guys we get enough of that it's a funny world though you know people are very sensitive you know um i just feel like i miss the old days when we can make fun of stuff you know because i like people when people make fun of me you know i, I think it's I just, as long as we all share it, it's cool to make fun of stuff, you know? The only thing that's not cool is when somebody makes fun of someone and they don't want somebody making fun of them. As long as we're all eating from the same trough, it's all good, right? That's what I say. That's what I say, you know, same rules for everybody. I mean, that's kind of where I'm at. All right, here's a couple of questions. Um, what's the dumbest stuff that's come down the pike lately in guitar culture. Well, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of things, man. Um, oh, you know what really bugs me? I think it's the stupidest thing ever is whoever came up with the thing Boomer Benz. God, I just want to strangle whoever said that. It's so stupid. Uh, in case we've forgotten, guitar is about expression and uh, putting your soul into feeling, right? And if you take bending out of the equation, you don't got much to work with. I'm just saying. So 
Whoever came up with Bill Benz can fuck off. Uh, that's some hot takes from Larry there. Um, uh, you know, Larry's not big on the whole modeling app thing. Uh, I, this is going to piss off all kind of people. I don't care. I, it, look, what I want to be written on my tombstone, my inevitable tombstone, which probably won't be long. <laughs> don't worry. I make death jokes all the time. It's a joke thing. I've been doing it my whole life. Morbidity is a great source of humor for me. Um, uh, you know, uh, what I what will say on my gravestone is, uh, good tone is heavy and hard to carry. Tom Book of Act, 1968, just to whatever year. Um, here's the thing. Remember when, like, acoustic guitars first came along with pickups that they plug in? They all sounded terrible. They still do. Uh, but but people just kept flogging on them and flogging on them until it became an acceptable sound. It doesn't sound anything like an acoustic guitar, really, but it became sort of accepted in culture because people just kept banging on the thing relentlessly, even though it sounds like shit. But, you know, that's what's kind of happening with modeling amps and things like that. I mean, this is just, this is going to get me a lot of people real pissed off. I mean, people have forgotten what a guitar is supposed to sound like, and they just want to carry something real light into the gig, and they think that this is passing as a guitar sound, you know? And uh, it, ain't, it ain't passing as a guitar sound, guys. I'm sorry. It's going to hurt a little to bring a real amp into the gig to get a real sound, but it's going to be worth it. Okay? So there's that. Boy, that's, I can't wait to hear the backlash of that one. But that's where Uncle, Uncle Larry stands with that one. Uh, what else do I have problems with? I wrote a few things down here. I can't see anything. Uh, oh, you know, there's a, this is not really recent guitar culture shit, but um, there's a few things that bug me, you know, in the guitar world. and I, There's stuff that bugs us all. I, look, I'm not acting like, you know, my opinion is any more important than anyone else. I don't give a shit. You know, I like to play guitar. Guitar's been good to me. I like great guitar players. And uh, there's a few things that bug me. <laughs> yeah, I don't like when people call their guitars her or she. I don't mind that with a vessel or a boat. But with a guitar, you can't do that, guys. I'm sorry. Don't ever call your guitar she or her. Come on, man. It's fucked up. You see, like, the occasional Craigslist ad... You know, where somebody writes, like, 1967 telly. Uh, she's been well cared for. Her frets were replaced, and so it's, it's like, dude, that kills me. I can't take it. Lord Jesus, please stop with that. Uh, how about this? This is a kind of a weird one. Uh, this is more for the vintage guitar freaks out there. How about, uh, nothing makes me laugh more than people that save the original frets after they have their guitar refretted. <laughs> I think I might have talked about that in the past. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm getting old. Keep the original frets in the case pocket in case you ever want to put them back on. Um, here's another thing. Uh, when people in this modern day of uh, pedal boards and pedals, everybody's got a million pedals. When people talk about real estate on their pedal board... <laughs> I don't have the real estate on my pedal board to put that on, man. Oh, we were just joking about that yesterday while we were walking around. It was making me laugh. Good tone is heavy and hard to carry. Hey, guess what, guys? Um, I think we're going to use this for a new t-shirt design. You know that'd be pretty funny, right? It wasn't my idea. A couple of viewers out there said that'd be a great t-shirt. And maybe I'll auction this original hand-drawn thing off. Or do a trivia question or something, you know, or give it to somebody. I don't care about auctions. Uh, I'll save the auction thing for when, when we really need it. You know, uh, when some cause comes along when, that we really want to donate to. Let's do that. Let's save the auction. I hope old Nando's enjoying his guitar. I bet he is. He's probably playing the shit out of that thing. He hasn't... Um, he hasn't 
called or written or anything. He did. He's a nice guy. I'm kidding. Good tone is heavy and hard to carry. What else can we get into? Um, oh, a lot of people ask me, uh, you know, if I, if I, what young guitar players I'm into, and if I see any young badass guitar players. You know, Dan Auerbach texted me at a thing last night of this guy playing. It blew my mind, man. Um, turns out the guy's a good friend of uh, Drew that owns the guitar house in Tulsa, my dear friend. But this guy, Seth Lee Jones, have you heard him? Man, that boy can fucking play, man. Plays like a man. He is a, he's a bad boy. Check him out. I'll put a, I'll put a link of one of his videos on the, on the, on my video. He's really good. Man, blew my mind. Uh, wicked, wicked fury, man. Just, just like all the intent in the world. And that's all I ask for, man. Plays like he means it. And great singer too. Cool, cool guy, man. Uh, Really cool. Uh, I'd like to thank Dan for turning me on to that. Uh, Dan's got cool taste in music. We always text each other tunes back and forth. Yeah, he's got really cool taste in music. Um, let's see. What else can we get into? Um, oh, the chords. Fuck, I almost forgot. Um, here's some cool ones, all right? These are pretty, these are, you know, kind of heavy duty. Uh, and they're gonna, you know, require a little stretching, but dig it, okay, from low to high. This is what it looks like. O, two, six, two, four, O. Okay, you got a bar, but you got this. Big old major seven. Sus. That's nice, right? Here's a really cool one. Check this out. Along the same lines. Uh, 5X464. Four, 5X464. Four, oh. four, four, oh. Big old uh, A13 flat five. That's nice, right? They kind of go together. It's nice. That's some piano shit right there. Okay, so here's here's a really good one. Dig this. This is the coolest way in the world to play a B minor nine. Yeah, everybody plays a B minor nine down here, right? Nice. That's cool. You get it here. What about this right here? You got from low to high, you got seven X O six five nine. Some hot takes there. Nice, nice, you know, a couple of nice chords for you. Hope you enjoy your day. I have no idea what day it is. It doesn't even matter when you're on the road. I just basically look at the thing. We got this thing called Master Tour, which is like an app you get on your phone, and it basically, you click on it, and it tells you what's going on that day. In the old days, there used to be like road sheets they would give you, like the tour manager would put a little sheet under your hotel room door because there was rooming lists. We don't even do rooming lists anymore. And he would stick it under there. It basically tells you what what's going on today. You know, four o'clock shuttle leaves for sound check. They don't even do that shit anymore. Everything's apps now. It's all apps. So you get on the app to look at where you're supposed to be doing this day. It's silly. What happened to this world? I miss rooming lists and you know road roadie road manager sheets. I miss all that stuff, man. I miss coming home from sessions at the end of a long day and, and going back to your answering machine and listening to all the messages that came in that day, people saying they want to book you for sessions and stuff. They couldn't text you. There was no texting. I miss it. All right, guys.
sorry, I'm getting real nostalgic. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.